Welcome back to my channel, Loving Your Life with Mama D. And I'm about to do a quick uh, bonus video for today. It's going to be the spinach salad, and then I'm going to do the collard green dish that I mentioned to you earlier. Okay, so come on, let's get to it real quick. We're going to get those apples chopped up into some nice little diced squares. And I like lots of apples, so I'm going to use the whole the whole apple. Yes, sirree. The whole apple. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. So that's what they say. <laughs> Look at that. That's a few walnuts. Some of those are whole. That's a few more. That's kind of yellow. Okay, and then as a little bonus, I got some organic pumpkin seeds. So I'm just going to add a few of those on there. Okay, and then one more wonderful thing that I'm going to do. I have an orange. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take that center out of the orange. And I peeled it, and I'm just going to cut some little nice little pieces and drop that right in there. Another good thing would be mandarin oranges would be good, but I didn't have any. So, here you go. This is almost as, as good as a fruit salad. Okay. And there she is. Okay, let me show it to you. That would be my salad for today. Oranges, apples, walnut, pumpkin seeds, and spinach. And then I think I'm going to use my uh, onion vinaigrette um, salad dressing. Okay, now... If I don't eat all of this, I'll save some of it uh, for dinner, but this looks like a salad. I can light into it, okay? <laughs> okay, so this will be lunch. Now, I'm going to get to the other dish that I promised you uh, that is absolutely amazing, and you can do this, uh, make enough that you can use it for two days, or just make enough for the family for one evening. It doesn't matter, but let's get to that recipe. It's another real simple one. Okay. The thing I'm going to do is take um, just a small or medium-sized sweet potato. Take those two ends off. And then I'm going to cut some nice little square pieces. Well, not square, but <laughs> round pieces. And then I'm going to kind of try to cut them into squares. So cut it down the middle and then two for that one down the middle. There's two on that one. I'll do two on this one. And that'll make it a nice little cube. Not too, too small, but you can definitely taste them. That part needs to be cut as well. Okay, now. Okay, now we have our sweet potatoes. And what I did, rather than using fresh collard greens, I picked up some uh, frozen, frozen collard greens. Bag of frozen. Also, a frozen bag of black eyed peas. Okay? Now, this is a quick way to do it. All right, let's get some uh, olive oil. We'll put some olive oil in here. And, uh, get that going okay so I have my sweet potatoes are chopped and I'm going to get them into the oil okay next we're going to just drop in the green the green these are collard greens this one bag this is um 14, 14 ounce bag. 
container of vegetable broth. The whole thing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then we're going to get some minced garlic. I have some garlic in the refrigerator. I'm not going to cut up a fresh one. I'm just going to use some minced garlic that I have in the refrigerator. Okay. I have this one a medium high. I'm going to bring that to a boil. Let's get rid of these things. Okay, just some minced gar garlic. This is a, a bob, I guess it's babia. Okay, yeah. So, what about a, about a tablespoon or so? I'm going to give it a little kick. All right, and then I'm gonna get some regular salt. Or I tell you what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my salt-free seasoning. Let's see. Yeah. This is my homemade salt free seasoning. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna get a good little bit in here. That salt free seasoning. Okay. And all we need to do now is put the top on it and let it cook. Okay. It probably will take about maybe 45 minutes or so. And um, we'll check on it. I'll check on it, you know, just to make sure it's not cooking down and burning. I may have to add some water or something like that. But we're just going to let that cook down. And I mean, we're about to make a, a delicious dish. Okay. Do y'all want to see what it looks like so far? Let me show you. <laughs> okay, this is it with all the spices. Let me just stir it. Give it a little stir. I think I'm going to probably have to put a little more water in it because it's really not, it's not quite covered. I know the greens are going to shrink some, but I'll come back in, in about 15 minutes or so and we'll check it out. Everything is finished. However, when I tasted it, it still needed some salt. So I use my... Uh, vegetable broth. It's a like a vegetable bouillon rather than chicken or beef. This is a vegetable one. So, you know, a little more sodium. But yeah, I went on and added some of this and I'll probably add just a, just a little. I just shook some in, you know, just a, and I don't know, maybe you can find this. I think I actually found this at the Dollar Tree. I got two of them. And I haven't looked again to see if they have any more, but yeah, it's a, and I know that you can buy um, vegetable broth. You can, or vegetable uh, bouillon. All right, so that's what I'm adding. So now let's go ahead and stir it and give it a taste. Let me show you how it looks. And here it is done. See the potatoes are nice and, and soft and they just break up. See that? Yeah, so that's ready. And you see the black eyed peas are in there, the greens. It is a wonderful combination. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's much better. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 
So, this is going to be dinner. And I'll probably make a salad on the side. But, you know, whatever you choose to do, you may even want to use this for tomorrow. It's up to you. But this is another wonderful dish that you can use on your Daniels Fast, okay? Hey, like I said, it's your life. Love it and make the best of it. And I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.